I've been playing with 3D printed gearboxes recently and I found out that 3D printed gears are not always the strongest so I wanted to see if there was another technology that could help me out. At around about the same time Alter reached out to me and asked if I'd like to try out their Laser Master 3 laser cutter. With such fortuitous timing and dreams of laser cutting gears out of solid lumps of Delrin, I immediately said yes. I've spent a couple of days now playing with it and cutting up plywood. With a little compressor added for air assist, it'll cut through 5mm plywood in no time, and it seems to love chomping through expensive sheets of Delrin with no issues. One thing I noticed fairly quickly though, was issues cutting circles that were exactly circular and even squares didn't have the same height and width exactly. Now, normally, on a laser cutter or even a CNC machine, you enable something called curve compensation to make it cut things the right size. If you think of this coin being the dot of a laser beam, then if the dot follows the contour of whatever shape you want to cut, you can see the actual shape that is cut out will be too small. To compensate for this, Curve compensation moves the path out by the radius of the dot, so the shape should be exactly the right size. But even with this enabled, I was still having issues. Searching online, I could see other people had the same issue with other diode laser cutters, and actually mine was better than most of the other makes out there. It turns out the problem is that the laser dot from a diode laser is not perfectly round. If I put the laser on low power and unfocus it, you can see the dot is more oval than it is round. If we quickly model this in Python, you can see that if we send a circular dot around a shape, it cuts out that shape perfectly. But if we send an oval dot around it, then there's areas where it cuts the shape too small and other areas where it cuts it just right. What we need to do is be able to adjust our path so the oval is always touching the outside edge of the shape, but never goes inside. But how the hell do we do that? On this diagram, the black circle represents the shape we want to cut out, and the red ellipse is our laser dot. When they're perfectly aligned like this, then the blue line is tangent to both of them. This means that the gradient of our shape at this point is equal to the gradient of the laser dot at the same point. This code works its way around the ellipse, and at every point around the ellipse it works out what the gradient is, and then stores it for later use. The blue line here is representing the gradient at the ellipse at any point. Now we've got the gradients of the laser dot stored, we can work our way round our shape, and then at each point on the shape work out the gradient again. We can then look up the gradient that we found here in what we've stored before and find out the xy coordinates of the laser dot for that gradient. If we run this, we can see that the laser dot now goes all the way round nicely. But there is a little problem. On any circle or ellipse there are actually two points where the gradient is equal. So what we need to do here is work out which quadrant of the ellipse we actually are using and make sure we use the gradient at that point. Back in Python we can work out which quadrant we're in and then store the current gradient against that quadrant. And then when we go around our shape we can work out the same quadrant for our shape and then use it to look up the gradient that we want. Let's try it out. First, we need to work out the shape of the laser dot. I like to do this by cutting a 20mm square and then measuring it. The square will be smaller than 20mm due to the curve, and we simply take the difference between the measured size in X and Y and input those into the program. Now we'll check it by cutting out a circle. I've packaged up all the logic into a simple command line tool that takes in an SVG and the shape of the laser dot and outputs a new SVG with inside and outside cuts on it. Just load the resulting SVG into Lightburn and delete the lines you don't want. It's only off by 0.02mm, I'll take that. You can use this for any SVG you like. Now I can finally cut those gears out of Delrin and test them against 3D printed ones in the next video. On a side note, I'm loving the Laser Master 3. I think the greatest praise that I can give it is to say that I have never used a laser cutter before and it took me less than an hour from opening the box to making my first laser cut items. It really is that easy and everything just worked perfectly. I love the look of it and it's handled every job I've thrown at it so far. 
It cuts through 5mm plywood at 100mm a second in a single pass, and it engraves at 10 times that speed. If you're in the market for a laser cutter, I can thoroughly recommend this one, and you can get a discount on it from the link in the description. See you next time.